what's going on guys welcome back to the channel so it's moving into that time of the year springtime a lot of people are getting milder slightly warm weather some warmer than others hell even sometimes i get some decently mild weather to pull out some spring fragrances so me and a couple of my friends came together and decided we'd make the ultimate spring cheapy list for you guys here we have six two from me two from justin two from andrea and these are in our opinion the only six cheap fragrances you need for this spring in 2023 so stay tuned what's up guys it's justin from stay fresh productions and i got two fragrances for the spring and they're both pretty dang inexpensive as i'm sure you already know because ross has already set up this video we got one from the old school technically, and we got one that's a little bit more modern. We're gonna start with old school, and if you were born after 2000, then you probably have absolutely no association with this type of fragrance. So it's gonna still smell modern to you, I'm sure. This is from Alfred Sung, it's called Sung Ohm. Came out in 1989, smells like the 90s to me. It's super fresh, quite soapy. I get herbs, I get this intensely Irish spring-like soapiness. Very aldehydic, very bright, very sparkling but you get a bit of this kind of sweet ambery warmth very complex but very well put together comes across easy to understand it's very clean it simply smells clean it's beautiful for a spring morning but it is strong enough to where it will last you all day very surprising for as fresh as it is and you can easily find this thing under $25 no problem so that's my first pickup that is sung home from Alfred Sung. And my next one is one that you probably haven't heard of or seen much of. This is coming from Lolita Limpica and it's called Green Lover. The name is a little misleading. Doesn't smell all that green. It's mostly orange and sweet. To sum it up, it smells like a creamy, fresh orange sickle. Like, you know, those orange ice cream pops that they used to have in the 90s i used to have them all the time growing up they're still around today of course it's so beautiful but more technically mint juniper berry definitely some kind of mandarin orange like vibe it's so easy to wear pretty versatile for being so different so that is green lover this one you can easily find under 40 bucks no problem i'm sure there will be links down below so check these out guys that's it for me i'll see you later hi guys this is andrea from the channel curly sense and this is Stanberry. My first choice is Blue Seduction by Antonio Banderas and guys, I really don't know what it is about this simple aquatic but every guy in my opinion needs to own a bottle of this beauty right here. Blue Seduction has a unique note of melon, mint, green apple and aquatic notes and honestly it is one of the sexiest blue fresh scents I've ever smelled in my life. As you guys can see here, this is a 200 ml bottle and you can find this for less than $20. Like, come on, that's a no brainer. Next, I have another incredible affordable fragrance and it is Ohm by Devin Beckham. When I say affordable, I mean 12 bucks, 12 bucks. This one is actually a very pleasant and versatile scent that definitely smells more expensive than it is. You're going to get a very spicy and woody feel that brightens up with ginger and citrus. I absolutely recommend this one if you're looking to spice up your spring evenings and get a lot of compliments. So these two are my affordable choices for spring. Thank you Ross so much for having me on your channel and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye. For me personally, it's very simple to start with this one. This is my favorite spring fragrance. Has been for many years now. We're talking about John Barbados Artisan Blue. Don't let the name and the color fool you. This is a very green, fresh and herbaceous scent profile. Beautiful citrus. <sighs> very grassy green, herbaceously spicy. I mean, everything about this is green through and through. Herbs spices bright the quality is really good it does not smell super cheap you can still find this one for a great price from discounters online this is a big 4.2 ounce bottle i used to have a 2.5 ounce bottle love this stuff not a real super strong performer it's like a four hour fragrance but you get to relive the magic when you do refresh it's great to cool you down it's vibrant it's zesty and it's very uplifting and energizing when you do refresh on a just you know kind of hot spring and summer day this one is just one of the best out there for me personally in my opinion 
One of the only cheap spring fragrances you need this year is John Barbados Artisan Blue. Now, as far as my second choice, we had to bring a little bit of an aquatic tone here. Here we still have some fresh greens, a nice herbal mate tea note in the backdrop, but Azaro Chrome Aqua. This one, not just for summertime. Because of the green facets to this one, actually a great spring fragrance. Has this juicy grapefruit citrus smell, a little bit of an aquatic tone as the name would insist, but I think this teal color is a great representation of it because it works really good for the spring, which is all about greens for me, as well as some aquatic tones. Blue, mix them together, you get a little bit of this turquoise teal colorway. Is that what they were going for? Who knows? But for me personally, I think this is one that's very underrated with all the great chrome flankers that have come out over the years. This is one of my personal favorites, my second or third favorite out of all of them. And I've tried a good bit of them. So performance is above average on this one in my experience on my skin in the six to seven hour range and longevity. Definitely has some solid projection, arm's length, type of reach out stuff in the first hour and a half to two hours then it settles into a decent scent bubble not something you're going to have to refresh over and over at least on my skin that's the case and you might even get a compliment or two because this is a very attractive and mass appealing scent that also and here's the beauty of it doesn't smell like everything else so definitely check this one out this spring you might really thank me later with a Zorro chrome aqua Thank you again to both Justin and Andrea. I will have both of their channels linked below if for some reason or another you are not subscribed to Justin Copeland over at State Press Productions or Andrea Charles over at the channel Curly Sense. Like I said, they're tagged below. Just click their, their added names and it'll bring you right to their channel. So make sure you like, comment, subscribe before you leave this video. And one thing I will leave you with is if you get your hands on any of these six picks that we brought to you in this video and you give them a spray now, I'm extremely confident you'll thank all three of us later. Have a good one, guys.